up what is up you guys today is the day i'm getting rid of everything in the tank because like i said before my theme is all natural so we're in my front because that's where my tank will be it's super super huge um my two takes and the second one we are not really worried about that one because it was it's not really gonna take a lot to clean but the sec the first one we really do need to soak i already sprayed dawn in it beforehand oh before we get started if you want to go on this fish journey with me because it is so many videos coming make sure you subscribe hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you can be up to date on my pit on my videos y'all yeah. are you guys ready let's get started so i am going to be using the first product which is the water filter it comes with a super long tube i will put the link in the comment box for you guys so you can have the information um, in detail. It comes with a super long tube, like I said. Then it also comes with a the filter part itself, as well as some tape for like if there's a leak, which is coming right up. They want you to assemble this whole thing yourself. So I'm just gonna let you guys know what's in there. Then in this bag, it comes with instructions. So make sure you read the front and back of it. This part is the part where the filter connection that goes into the tank connects to. It has an off and on button that you switch, that you can switch on and off. And then this part is the part that connects to your sink. Um, that top gold part pushes down and it also has a off and on switch. Then you also get two of the connectors. One's for the filter, one is for the sink part that connects the tubes. And you also get different types of pieces that fit into your sink so that the part that connects to your sink fits on your sink. So it's so weird, but that's why I say read the instructions, which is right there read the instructions and make sure you keep the bags because i was close to throwing the bags away but keep the bags because you're going to reuse those filters and you want to make sure everything is in place and storage neatly underneath next you're going to find the size that fits to your sink so some of your sinks might be able to have that part um, untwist some of your sinks might have them not like really on there that was dirty i had to clean that I'm just gonna let y'all know, that was gross. I just moved here. Then once you find the piece that actually fits to your sink, you can now connect it to the part that's gonna connect to the holes. But just to test it to make sure, because this is the part that where that tape will come in handy. If you test it out before connecting the holes, you'll be able to tell if it's a leak or not, especially depending on your water pressure you'll be able to tell if there's a leak. So the tape will help by you wrapping it on that part that I just connect to the sink and then putting the part that I'm connecting now on on top of that to prevent it from leaking water. So I couldn't show you guys this on camera because it was really tough getting it in there, but you just slide and twist it, pushing it in. That's how you connect it. Now we're going to go um, get the two knobs which you will need with the filter tube. I don't know the exact inches, but I will definitely put the link in the comments so you guys can go check it out because I'm saying it stretches from your kitchen all the way to, I think probably, it can go upstairs to my second floor so i think that's how long this is but like right at the tip of the stairs so with the first piece of tube we're going to take that black connector piece that we have that i showed you in the video and we're going to put that on first then we're going to connect the tube to that part, like um, the exit part of the water, and screw it on real tight. Make sure you push it up as far as you can so that way you can 
prevent any leaks of water, but that's what that tape is for. So we take the second piece, the second end of the tube, and take that last black connector and we're going to connect it to the filter part that goes into the fish tank the same way we did to the sink make sure you push it on all the way so it won't be any leaks because i think mine was leaking and i'm just going to go back and take it take it off and then put the masking tape on and try it again because it was leaking a little bit but that's how it goes all right you guys enjoy i'm not going to talk through the whole video now my favorite part this is the six in one fish set cleaning kit it comes with that little scrubber tube that helps clean out tubes or any of that stuff the scooper for the sand or gravel just to get out you know dead fish or anything like that the scraper which helps with algae or anything stuck to the glass and it also comes with a safety top then the stick is the long pole that's right in the middle part and you have to put that together it also comes with the um, net the fish net to get your fish in and out safely or pick out anything that you want to get out the tank extra tools 
um, a corner. It's like a tilted edge corner cleaner sponge. Yes, it's reusable. Clean it out with Dawn soap. It's the safest bet. You only need a drop and rinse it out really, really good before putting it back in the tank. Or, um, and that's before you put the fish in the tank. When it's time to like use it to clean the fish tank, don't use any soap. Just use that sponge, re-rinse it out because the algae in there is good for the fish. And that is a flat brush to clean it as well. So it comes with all of those pieces. I love it. <laughs>